Thomas Hurka, The Best Things in Life, A Guide to What Really Matters, Philosophy in Action. Welcome to the summary of The Best Things in Life, A Guide to What Really Matters, Philosophy in Action, by Thomas Hurka. In this book, the author delves into various philosophical perspectives on what constitutes a good life, examines types of pleasures, the role of knowledge, value of achievements and morality, and the significance of love and friendship. By exploring these elements, Hurka provides a comprehensive understanding of the factors that can lead to a fulfilling and meaningful life, and offers insights into achieving happiness while balancing various aspects of life. Throughout the summary, readers will be introduced to thought-provoking ideas, fascinating examples, and enlightening studies that help illuminate the book's key concepts and provide guidance on living a good life. Tough Choices Life is full of decisions that require weighing practical and philosophical factors to determine what makes a good life. Philosophers have different ideas on what a good life entails such as getting what you want, prioritizing pleasure, choosing knowledge, moral virtue, creativity, or religious dedication. However, the underlying fact is that fundamental good exists and there are different paths to a good life. Ultimately, some lives are more valuable than others based on what has ultimate value. Understanding Pleasure Pleasure is a complex amalgamation of bodily sensations and events that evoke positive feelings. The concept of pure pleasure is a myth as it exists in varying degrees. Pleasures can be categorized into two sections, simple and self-contained pleasures, and more complex pleasures that stem from external events. The degree and breadth of feeling also determine the amount of pleasure one experiences. All pleasures, being equal, are separated only by their degree of pleasantness. Understanding your inner states is not imperative, and it is a blessing if being wrong about them helps in achieving other important goods. Paving the way to happiness. The pursuit of happiness is a journey that can be achieved through an indirect route. An overall good mood is the most powerful pleasure, opening the way for simple delight and general satisfaction with life. Pursuing activities that you do well while sidling up to happiness seems to bring the most pleasure. To enhance your happiness, avoid physical pain and minimize exposure to enduring stressors. Seek flow in activities that work for you, allowing them to take you away. Good feelings will naturally follow. The value of pain over pleasure. According to the book, pleasure doesn't hold as much importance as pain, and living a better life involves caring most about those who suffer most. The key to flow is finding the right balance of challenge and ability in a developed skill. There's also a time bias that limits pleasure, making immediate pleasure less valuable than future accomplishments or goodness. Overall, the book suggests that reducing pain is more valuable than increasing pleasure. The Value of Knowledge Societies value education for acquiring skills and knowledge but all knowledge is not created equal. There are three types of knowledge, outside, relational, and internal, with relational knowledge having an edge as it connects internal and external knowledge. Moral knowledge is a fourth type that requires an understanding of what is right and wrong. Challenging achievements are integral to personal growth. Knowledge and Achievement Knowledge connects our minds to the world, while achievement connects the world to our minds. Achievements vary in worth and involve challenging goals that require learned abilities and effort. Valuable achievements affect many people or last for a long time. The most admired achievements are precise and require structuring goals step by step, such as mastering skills to climb Mount Everest or excelling in golf, poetry, or woodworking. Our best friends are moved by simple feelings rather than evaluative judgment, unlike judges or scientists. Breathing may demand action, but it does not define achievement. On the value of goodness. Goodness is not the only measure of a good life, according to Aristotle. Virtue contributes to a good life, but it is less valuable than the item it is evaluating. Aligning your viewpoint with the good compounds your goodness, and negative views about evil feelings are also good. Pursuing or considering a good is also good, but experiencing the good yourself is even better. 
the pursuit of goodness should be motivated by both moral beliefs and personal values. While Kant places superior value on moral beliefs, other situations may call for personal values. Ultimately, when compared to other kinds of good, virtue may come up short. The value of an act itself may be more valuable than the attitude of the person performing the act. The Essence of Love and Friendship Love and friendship are two different degrees of the same good. They both revolve around enjoying someone's company and wishing that person only good things in life. Love's first value is the positive feelings it evokes in individuals. However, love is also a breeding ground for other good qualities such as shared knowledge, achieving together, and virtuousness. The goodness of love is not diminished irrespective of the conflicts that accompany it. Although love could be complicated, people are not deterred by the problems associated with it. Love, in essence, is built on traits others can appreciate, as well as historical qualities shared between two people. The history created together makes people unique, and love changes with growth, learning, and evolving over time. Even with the rare sufficiency to avoid risks, conflicts may arise such as rejection and jealousy, but the worthiness of love overrides them. In conclusion, pleasure is limited in value and ranks second to its opposite pain, which is considered evil among feelings. Love and friendship may occasionally have their downsides, but their essence is undoubtedly the same, rooted in creating happiness and shared positive experiences. Achieving a Good Life The book emphasizes the two fundamental factors that contribute to living a good life. The first is finding the proper balance between pleasure and knowledge. Too much focus on one area can detract from others, while too little undermines useful knowledge. Striving to be either a specialist or a well-rounded person is not the key. Instead, letting values and abilities guide towards an ideal mix of goods is essential. The second factor involves the general form of life, whether an even keel is better than a life of highs and lows or excelling in a single good is better than a well-rounded balance of goods. This issue evolves throughout life, and living is the only means to find the answers. Embracing Death Death is inevitable, but it can also prevent evil and suffering. Those who embrace and enjoy the good things in life make a reasonable response to death. In conclusion, Thomas Hurka's The Best Things in Life, A Guide to What Really Matters, Philosophy in Action, offers an insightful exploration of different philosophical perspectives on the good life and key elements that contribute to a well-rounded and fulfilling existence. By examining pleasure, knowledge, achievements, morality, love, and friendship, Hurka provides readers with a holistic understanding of various factors that impact life's goodness, while also offering guidance on achieving happiness and maintaining balance in life. The book effectively demystifies complex philosophical notions and instills practical wisdom into everyday life decisions. Ultimately, the author encourages readers to embrace a multifaceted approach to living, finding the right balance between various aspects of life, and appreciating the diverse experiences that make our lives uniquely worthwhile.